I am excited. I am so freaking excited, and that's because NBA 2K is finally doing throwback teams right. You remember a while ago when I told you guys that <coughs> the Steve Francis, Stephon Marberries, White Chocolate, Jason Williams, Latrell Sprewells, Tracy McGrady's, and those type of players deserve love? Well, they're bringing back Michael Finley from his prime. The 2002-2003 Dallas Mavericks was when they had that sick big three of Michael Finley, Dirk Nowitzki, and Steve Nash. And they went on to win the first 14 games. And plus, they had fire jerseys. Now, moving on to the Trailblazers, 99-2000. to They had a sick team as well. I Let me remind you, Steve Smith had one all-star appearance. We have Scottie Pippen. You guys know who he is. You have another version of Scottie Pippen now. So, that's probably going to come out in packs. His game is probably going to be different too. Hopefully, they get his appearance different. That's all I care about. They can't have the same appearances for each era of player. And I really hope they address that this year, man. Rashid Wallace is coming back to NBA 2K. Detlef Schrempf's going to be in there. You also get another version of Jermaine O'Neal. But this is before Jermaine O'Neal was good. He was irrelevant coming off the bench. All of his all-star appearances came after he left Portland. You also get Aridus Sabonis and Damon Stoudemire. Bonzi Wells before he went absolutely insane. Laker fans remember Brian Grant from the Shaq trade and um, Greg Anthony. But honestly, man, I am very excited because what this means is they're getting it right finally. They are getting throwbacks right. Now, here's what I'm also excited about, man. 99 to 2000 Trailblazers had their season end by my Lakers. And um, although the 2000 to 2001 Lakers are going to be in this year's um, 2K, I'm very excited because this is... Finally, they're putting in Shaq in his absolute prime in the game. When he finally fulfilled his potential. When he finally became that huge monster that you didn't want to get too close to because he was going to elbow you in the face because he was so hard to referee. Shaq is officially in the game. We also get a legitimate athletic up-and-coming Kobe. A Kobe that was able to break the three-point record a mere two years later. 14 three-pointers, by the way, if you guys don't know. So he should be able to shoot threes. He should have his afro. And this is when the Lakers changed their jersey. So this is the Los Angeles Lakers, you remember. These are the three-peat Lakers coached by the Zen Master. And I am so freaking excited because my favorite play of all time was the Western Conference Finals. Oh, why should I even explain it? Let me roll that clip for y'all. Anyways, guys, I am super excited for this game. NBA 2K16 is coming out in late September. You get it. Uh, you could get it early if you pre-order it. So be sure to go ahead and hit them with that pre-order. Because honestly, at this point, Ronnie 2K and LD 2K got me so hyped right now. I don't know if you guys are hyped. I'm personally really hyped. Let me know in the comment section, though, because I'm trying to get a list together. What players would you like to see in NBA 2K16 that weren't in NBA 2K15? Besides that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike. I'm signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to check out my previous video right over here. If you haven't subscribed, bros, you're messing up. I got you with the subscribe button right over here. And you guys want to see how much your boy could bench press and any weird, funny tweets. Social media websites are down here for you guys. And I understand some of you guys need some help with the ladies. That's why I created a bunch of t-shirts designed to make you look buff as hell. Right over here. Click here to go right there. Besides that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next video.